Welcome to CSET Biology, the cover page. I am Mr. Wilson, and today we're going to be looking at question number two of the May June 2016 CXC CSEC Biology paper. Please be reminded to like, share, and of course subscribe. And when you do, hit that notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Also be reminded to join us on a Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for live classes that's streaming from Kingston, Jamaica at 5.05 p.m. Question number two, AI. In the box provided below, draw a food web consisting of the following organisms, and the organisms are algae, small fish, tadpole, water snake, egret, and of course, a eagle. That's very easy to construct. Be reminded that when we are constructing a food web, a food web usually begins with a producer and in this case our producer is going to be the algae after we would have had the producer we are going to have the primary consumer followed by our secondary consumer then the tertiary consumer which in this case is the eagle now be reminded as well that the arrow tells the organism that is doing the eating or pretty much shows the flow of energy within the food web, food chain, or ecosystem. So here it is saying that the energy is, of course, being transferred from the algae to the tadpole. Simply put, the tadpole is eating the algae, and the water snake is, of course, eating the tadpole and the small fish. Here we are realizing that in some cases, an organism might have more than one favorite meal. Let's up on down to the other question. So this is a construct for this particular food web. And of course, this is an aquatic food web. You'd be rem reminded that, of course, a food web could either be terrestrial on land or aquatic in the water. What is the role of an organism at the start of the food web? Here we're looking at role as it relates to the organism feeding. Now the organism at the start of a food web or food chain is of course going to be the producer and the role of this organism is of course make food for the organism of the food chain and of course food web. So the organism at pretty much the start of the food web will be trans they'll be converting of course the sun's light energy with of course the addition of some water and carbon dioxide into of course chemical energy that can be used by other organisms let's move on to the other question in the other question we are looking at we're supposed to name the organism which perform each of the following function in the food web and of course we're looking here and we're seeing that this organism should be both a predator and a prey an organism that is a predator would be feeding on another organism and an organism that is a prey is a, the organism that is being fed on so here we have the water snail snake and the egret they serve both as predator and prey let's look at that so here the water snake is eating the tadpole so that's a predator predator relationship between the water snake and the tadpole the water snake here being the predator and the tadpole being the prey now in the case of the eagle and the water snake the eagle would have been the predator and the water snake being the prey. If we were supposed to look at the egret, the egret here is going to be the predator for the small fish because the uh, egret is eating the small fish. However, the eagle would have been the predator for the egret and the egret here being the prey. So depending on the relationship, the niche might change. And of course, the feeding uh, mechanism, the feeding relationship too might change depending on the set of organism. We're supposed to look at the primary consumer as well, and primary consumer refer to those organisms that could be classified as, of course, herbivore. They are pretty much feeding on that autotrophic organism. Not so fair to say that it is a plant because there are other autotrophic organisms other than plant. Here, our primary consumer, they are gonna be the tadpole and, of course, small fish. Let's up on up to the food web and look at that. Here we have the tadpole and the small fish. They are feeding on the autotrophic organism, which in this case is, of course, the algae. We want to make sure that we have a good grasp 
of this feeding relationship so it becomes really easy when we head on into the exam here we have secondary consumer this is of course going to be uh, those organisms that are feeding on the primary consumer very usually carnivores so in this case it's going to be the egret and the water snake it could also be an omnivore but on the food web very seldomly we have seen uh, the uh, the omnivore so here we have the uh, secondary consumer being water snake and egret as they are feeding on the primary consumer a pretty nice topic and we are almost certain that's going to be on your exam paper somewhere be it on the multiple choice paper or your paper too the tertiary consumer would of course be the top carnivore are in this case the apex predator the eagle in this case is of course the apex predator uh, remember a food chain or food web could actually go up to the quaternary consumer if we go beyond that then we'd find that the amount of energy being available for organism would have significantly reduced uh, so low it would not be able to sustain life uh, because of that food webs food chain are usually restricted now from the food web draw food chain consisting of three organisms this question comes in a little easy for most persons in other cases they would have asked for three trophic levels but now it's easy to just pull from the food web three organism here we can pull algae tadpole and of course water snake and if you observe we're still using the arrows to show the flow of energy now be reminded that the flow of energy in a food web food chain is usually unidirectional heading in one direction as it's usually moving from the producer to the consumer and usually once the organism has been eaten then you understand that the energy would not flow in the opposite direction let's look at the other question what is the role of the organism to which the arrow points in a food chain now we have to be very uh, careful here because we are having arrows moving from the producer to the consumer and the primary consumer to be specific and from the primary consumer to the secondary consumer here our answer is going to be to receive the energy uh, or to feed on the trophic level that was before so we have to be very careful here when we're answering this question the organism to which the arrow is pointing all that it does is pretty much to receive that energy from the trophic level before or to feed on the organisms that were before let's look at the other question Expl explain why energy flows in one direction in the food chain this is pretty easy the producer are eaten by the primary consumer and a primary by the secondary consumer causing the depletion of energy and the unidirectional flow of that energy if we were supposed to up onto the other question we're supposed to list three features of the environment which support living organisms of course features of the environment which support living organisms they're going to be the biotic and abiotic factors so here we could look at light ph water humidity which are just a few of the factors that support life in our environment so we want to be sure that we have this type of a content under our belt so that we'll have it very easy when we head on to the exam that pretty much takes us to the end of question number two for the 2016 biology paper 2 may june i do hope that you have been studying this is of course from section a of a syllabus also be reminded to like share and of course subscribe and when you subscribe hit that notification bell and snake all so that you will be notified as soon as there is a new publication also be reminded to join us on a wednesday friday and sunday at 5 or 5 p.m and we're streaming from Kingston, Jamaica for live classes on biology and HSB. Until next time, take good care of yourselves.